My name's E. Camp and I'm a filmmaker. I've wanted to go to New Zealand for as long as I can remember. So when I got the opportunity to make a film down there, I jumped at it. Excluding my film gear, uh, this is what I packed for my two week trip. Everything else went into my Synapse 25 with room to spare.
usually use a side effect to hold all my in-flight essentials clipped to the seat back pocket in front of me. But since switching to the larger Kobo e-reader, that won't fit in the side effect, but it will fit in the sidekick. And it worked great to hold everything I needed for the 11 hour flight from Los Angeles to Auckland. A good friend taught me this trick that he uses on his long flights to Japan. Write up a note that uh, has your food preference on it. And before you go to sleep, make sure it's on your tray and make sure that your seatbelt is fastened and showing on the outside of your jacket or blanket. And there's a good chance you'll make it through most of the flight without the flight attendant waking you up. Okay, I made a huge rookie mistake on this trip. I was so excited about going to New Zealand, uh, I didn't think about breaking in my brand new shoes, and they were the only shoes I was bringing with me. So by the time uh, I landed in Los Angeles, flying from Central Oregon, uh, the back of my ankles were pretty irritated. I didn't wanna deal with this for the two weeks, I just wanted to enjoy my trip. I had a long layover in Los Angeles, and I bought a pair of slip-on shoes which I know for my feet never need to be broken in. And though they're not the most uh, functional for hiking and things like that, at least I knew I would have uh, comfortable feet for my entire trip. I'm not really much of a souvenir guy, and really nobody needs a bunch of junk from my trip. However, uh, I did bring back a couple bars of the New Zealand-made Whitaker's Artisan Chocolate. This was really, really good chocolate, and uh, by a couple, I mean six. Only three of them actually made it all the way back to Central Oregon, but uh, along the way, I kept them in the open top pocket inside the main compartment of the Synapse 25. I love this feature because I can add and remove items from the main compartment without disrupting items in the other section. I've traveled all over the world, and for me, the minimalist style of packing is the way to go. But every trip and every person is different. If you are gonna travel in this style, just make sure that whatever you do bring works great for you.